Former Chinese President Jiang Zemin has died at the age of 96, according to state media. He came to power in the wake of the repression of the pro-democracy protests in Tiananmen Square in 1989. He steered China through economic reform that transformed the country into a global manufacturing powerhouse. He also oversaw the return of Hong Kong from the UK in 1997 and Macau from Portugal in 1999. Jiang stepped down as president in 2003, but remained influential in the ruling Communist Party long after he retired. And let's get more on this. We are joined by DW reporter Clifford Kunin, who worked as a correspondent in China for many years. How important a figure was he in Chinese history? Well, he was a very important figure. Um, in those years in China, it was constantly being reported that Jiang Zemin was dead, so this has finally been confirmed. Um, he was um, an emblematic figure of change in China in many ways. He oversaw some of the biggest events in Chinese history and in some ways created the kind of China which Xi Jinping, the current leader, has inherited, uh, particularly with accession to the, uh, the World Trade Organization in the early 2000s, the process which continued over the early 2000s. And um, he, he basically was uh, a, a transitional figure in some ways because uh, uh, Xi Jinping has now become this enormous figure. But uh, his, his position in history, in Chinese history, is certainly assured. How do citizens of China see him? Well, he was funny. In some ways, he was he was more charismatic than a lot of Chinese leaders who tend to be technocrats. Um, he was famous for his rendition of Love Me Tender. He could recite the Gettysburg Address in English, which was pretty remarkable. Um, he, When you'd go to Shanghai, he was very, very popular in Shanghai, which was his power base. And taxi drivers always had stories about him. And, and then you come into the Hu Jintao era after that, and the stories end, and the technocrats come in. And now we have Xi Jinping, who, of course, is another stage in some ways of communist rule in China and that he's um, very much hardline, the communist uh, party figure. Not to say that Jiang Zemin didn't oversee his own share of, um, of, of events that were controversial, including the crackdown on the Falun Gong movement, uh, the spiritual movement, which was uh, led to a lot of people being arrested and killed. Do we know what he thought of Xi Jinping? Um, he he was a, I think he was a skeptic because he led the Shanghai faction, which uh, was supposedly in opposition to um, to Xi Jinping's faction. Um, at the party congress last year, he he very pointedly had a, a large um, magnifying glass and he he was kept looking at his watch during Xi Jinping's speech and things like that. He 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 was sort of they were they were they were rivals, but at the same time they both believed in keeping the party strong, so they they couldn't express it too obviously. But they, they were definitely rivals. Okay, Clifford Coonan uh, joining us with this news. Chang Se-min has died at the age of 96. Thank you so much.